Hello and welcome back to RimWorld and it seems like the music is super low. I'm just... Yeah, it was probably just that part which was fairly low. It's, um, uh, whatever, uh, it's, um, it's what it is. But in the last episode, in the absolute end, we bought 50 plasteel and 20 gold, which we need for the multi-analyzer, which we haven't researched yet. We have, we are researching it now. Uh, Ida is doing a lot of good work to get it researched, but yeah, we haven't done it just yet. Uh, Alan um, stepped on one of our traps in the last episode and got heavily, heavily damaged. Um, thankfully, he didn't lose any limbs or eyes or anything, uh, which was <laughs> really really good but still uh it kind of sucks um it is something that can happen so yeah and since they reworked how traps uh works in the game you can't do the crisscross like you did before and then have your uh, colonists like zigzagging and then never Trigger, triggering a trap so yeah there is some um, some negative stuff with the traps but still they make it a lot easier to handle uh, raids which I feel makes it Yeah, I feel like it's that that makes it um, good enough to keep, to be honest. Uh, so what we should do now is actually deconstruct this all the way. Yeah, we have uh, Tatiana is going like breaking is on the cusp of breaking all the time at this point um, because of the it's mostly because of the divorce uh, like divorced by Shota and it expires in 24 days and uh, at this point it was actually a few days ago so I think it's a month, it's 30 days, so yeah, it's really, really brutal and it it's actually quite lo a lot. It's minus 20, so hopefully we can actually, yeah, we, we can actually get um, this fixed. Is this done? It seems like it is. This one needs to be done. And... We just cancel. <coughs> Ooh. Ah, <coughs> oh, freaking sneeze. But whatever. Um... Yeah, um, why isn't the roof building automatically? Is it because there's some weirdness going on or is it not possible because it's not enough support? I don't know. Do I have the... 
all right i don't have the the trader spot mod uh right trade caravan is left so yeah so we need to build the roof in this new area uh, I need to move these as well and what I need to do here is actually cut these ones down to remove them and yeah I am going to move this as well just to get as much of a straight wall as possible and the reason why this kink is here is because of this wind turbine that's really the reason for that and uh, yeah How's the research going? The research is coming along quite nicely. Uh, have you roofed this? Is this indoors now? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Now, what we need to do now is to do a stockpile zone. And I need to copy from this general file to this and rename this to general. Oh, general. And let's put a one there so we can actually. finalize it and yeah I'm, I'm going to um, keep this one for the time being and uh, the reason being that I want to do some other stuff than just hauling all of it before we actually start hauling it hauling it and um There we go, that's done. I should do this. And what I'm going to do right now is actually in security. Uh, let's... It's over there and then one over there. Um, I'm going to have turrets like this. Now, what I'm going to do is actually forbid this. Uh, forbid. Forbid. So they can build the, the, the floor tiles, the wooden floors, but nothing else. And this is just to mark out where I want the automated uh, mini turret. And I am going to put up to here as well. Now, did I say here or say here? there and then here the the reason why i'm doing two is because i want some automatic defense i don't necessarily want all of it like 
too much of it, especially not in the beginning when resources isn't really perfect and um, turrets is expensive. So before I have the stuff I need, I don't want to spend it on turrets. But I am going to need to to do that stuff later on. Uh, and the turrets is if, for example, if it's for some reason someone managed to go all the way through, I have turrets helping me shoot. Help me shoot. That's basically the whole reason. And the reason why I haven't, like, drawn a power line up to it is because what I'm going to do is put a switch so I can turn all of the turrets on or off at the different locations. So up here I have one switch, down here I have one switch, and what I'm going to do as well is actually having like perimeter defense all the way around in case we have sappers i can turn on the defense for everything that is outside of the kill boxes because the chance of a sapper going somewhere else than the kill box is very very high uh, thankfully sappers isn't really an early game thing it's more of a late game thing so hopefully we won't be getting sappers super early now this mood is not good Yeah, this mood is really not good. Um, yeah, I could see if I can s sell and get these money. And yeah, that would be nice. Uh, but yeah, we... Um, we would need to fix Tatiana's mood like a lot. Um, and as I said, the biggest problem really is the whole divo divorce by Shota malice. It's. Um, Yeah, and it would be great if um, I could get that up and running. Now, I'm not sure I have. No, oh, I have marble chunks. Yeah, there's 20 marble chunks over there, so... Oh, they are all good. Let's deconstruct these. Uh, Pina. Like they are visitors. I hopefully, hopefully, I can get one hundred percent rested. And here we go. Let's talk. How oh, is this? This is monkey meat. Uh, let's see if we can milk them from like of all their money. Probably not that difficult to be honest, but still, let's get rid of all the bad bows because we have a lot of them. Uh, yeah, get rid of that one. A poor revolver. Or bolt action rifle. I'm going to keep it because rifles are still 
useful. And steel weapons I want to keep so I can smelt it. But other than that, let's like get rid of bad clothing. 84. Let's see. Anything that is this one, maybe? Uh, what we could buy is it is. Nine. Yeah, that's about as close as you can get it uh, without fiddling too much with it. So let's go with that. Here we go. We got basically all of the money and some pemmican and we offloaded a bunch of garbage from our st storage. So. Let's see, uh, Pina, what are you doing? You're building marble wall. And now you're deconstructing. Now you're going to wear a blue fur t-shirt. Muffalo self-tamed. Now. All right, I don't have any marble blocks. Um, okay, so you, let's put you to grazing. The training is simple. Now, I don't remember exactly. All right, I actually, they do have both milk and wool which is useful how is alpacas i can't remember alpaca i think have wool yeah wool growth and then cows has milk um which means that Basically, Muffalo is a mix of alpaca and cow <laughs> in their functionality. So, yeah, that, that's not bad. Uh, that's not actually bad. That is um, actually quite good. And I hope you could not hear that. Oh! A masterwork. Um, I think Tatiana is actually going to get that one. Uh, we can deconstruct that. Good. Good. Yeah, so let's reinstall this masterwork bed in Tatiana's. And then we have an excellent one for Rabbit. So let's deconstruct his for the time being. And um, Let's remove and remove. Reinstall over there. And there we go. Now uh, both 
uh, Rabbit and Tatiana actually have some decent... It, they actually have a sleep, like a bedroom. Um, they didn't, they didn't before, so that is super good. That is going to help Tatiana uh, and uh, her mood, because it's her, right? Yeah. So Tatiana's mood is actually going to be a bit better. So yeah. Won't be getting disturbed sleep and slept outside and slept in the cold. And uh, since she has a masterwork bed, it's actually going to be a bit better. Now, let's take a look. What do we have in the way of sculptures? We have two normal ones. Normal, 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 good. Excellent, normal, good, good. Okay. I think I want a bit of a better one when it comes to Tatiana's. An excellent one would actually be really, really good. But, well. You can't... You can't get everything, so... Let's see, you have a... She will work faster for the next eight days. Is it, a, is it just speed, like work speed, or is it... I'm not 100% sure what... Yeah, I think what that one is, is that you work... Like, every task you do is quicker. So, uh, exactly how much quicker, I'm not sure, but... Let's say it's double the speed, so if something took two seconds, it would take one. But yeah. Let's see here, what do we need to do now? We... We do need to... Um fix this a bit going to I need this corner here because I want a bit of space in this corner so it's not just like a tiny tiny corner to pass through because that's usually never good when they have um, opened this up like that I'm going to designate it like this there we go There we go, that's built. Let's take a look here. What's actually... So what I'm going to do right now is actually delete this. Uh, wooden sculpture table makes small sculpture can no longer count, count items in deleted. Okay, I need to fix that. Uh, look there instead and let's take this and rename and remove the one 
Let's see, did you... Yep. Because I want to... Uh, I want to move all of the stuff in here. Up in here. Like, all of it. And... Uh, that is a good one. Cargo pods, let's see what... It's pemmican, okay. That's um, food that is actually going to last for a while if we don't eat it. Now, since we have a, a fridge, like a freezer, it doesn't spoil anyway, so... Now, how is... Um, food for ourselves going it's not looking super good so we are actually going to have to go on a hunting spree i um actually haven't um done it enough so Yeah, so we're going to need to hunt uh, a lot. Uh, we most likely will need to um, increase our um, capacity for uh, farming as well. Now, vanilla indoor farming is not good it's um, really really it, it costs you a lot of power not only do you need uh, let's see here what where do you have it yeah not only do you need a heater to actually maintain the temperature during the winter uh, you also probably need like a cooler or two so it doesn't get too hot and then um, thankfully the the cooler you can set to like 30 so if it's hotter than 30 then and the heater you can put to like 18 but then you need a sun lamp and uh, yeah this is the radius that a sun lamp can affect so basically if we are going to go with this uh, the most efficient in vanilla is basically putting up like if i do this then if i all oh, right i can't see oh i hate that i can't see the okay so it's there so basically we need to have something like this to have like some like multiple rooms where we fill as much as we can with a growing zone and then do like rice or potato or whatever we want to do and then just do that um they cost a lot of um power power consumption 2900 watts per lamp that is a lot of power um a lot a lot of power especially when you look at like the standing lamp which is 30 watts now i get it like 
the sun lamp should require more. But as with how small of an area it actually affects and how many you will need, it's slightly ridiculous. Now, how is the food situation? It is okay, we have simple meals, but that's about it. So yeah, we need to um we need to hunt. Yeah. But that is going to have to be it for this episode. And I think in the next episode I will set up um indoor farming because it seems like they have actually built everything at this point yeah so next episode we will do some indoor farming uh, set that up i will explain um sort of the best way of doing it and uh, yeah so but that is going to have to wait until the next episode so Thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.